get better. If any. Well, I know you want to lie for us in Ibadan. Back here in Lagos, it was also a local Independence Day parade at the Lagos House Marina, reflecting the current economic challenges facing the nation. Senior correspondent Adito Jasalam Adini has more. No march passed by several servants, market men and women, cultural groups, or school children. No music, no dance. However, the Nigerian flag was proudly held, symbolizing national pride and unity. <laughs> Governor Sonwolu inspects the guard amid the simple parade that serves as a spark, boosting the mood, bringing joy to the celebration of Independence Day. <laughs> but that was very brief. The bone of contention is the situation of the country. Governor Sonwunu truly understands the challenges, which he believes require a collective effort to solve. We need your collaboration. We need your trust. And I know trust is earned through actions and not just words. That is why in the coming months, our administration will be more transparent than we've ever been before. We'll work twice as hard would we'll walk twice as fast and would we'll deliver twice as much. I assure you that we are committed to finding sustainable solutions to alleviate the suffering of our citizens. The governor described President uh, Bolatinibu's Independence Day speech as inspirational, promising more transparency in governance and youth engagement. I'm truly impressed and happy with the speech of Mr. President I feel a sense of renewed hope. I feel a sense that what we thought were not possible, it's our belief that the possibilities are coming around. Given the clear opportunities that are coming forward in all the economic challenges that we currently have, it's important for us to support the government at the center. Traditionally, Lagos State Independence Day celebrations have always been a grand affair, filling stadiums with enthusiastic crowds. However, this year's event is more subdued due to security and economic concerns. Governor Babajide Sonwolu urged residents to mindful, cultivating resilience until these painful but necessary reforms start to yield desired results. Adedoja, Salama Deni, TVC News, Lagos. And protesters gathered at the Ikeja underbridge.